hit and miss. And they were primarily used on farms back in the, about 100 years ago. So here is the motorcycle. It is beautiful. Um, it's just unique. It's something different. Lots of parts to go through. So we're just going to go through. I made up the whole front end on this thing. And if you can zoom in to the steering head here, you'll see they're just old pillar block bearings. You'll never see that on a motorbike now. The parts are made up with two inch rectangular tubing. It's a design that was used years ago by BMW. It's called a kind of Errol's type front end with the string being off of an old Norton. The wheels, both wheels, I got from another guy in the club, John Owen. And if you can look at them closely, they're all cracked and cracks all over them. But I blew them up and they held air. So I didn't do anything else. The headlight is off a car and that in itself is a Everland car. I've never heard of the car, but that's the headlight off of one of them. The ignition switch, which I, I put on so they could stop the bike if I had to, is a regular household ball switch. And if you notice, as I'm getting older, I've got red for stop and green for go, which helps me a lot. Horn, also donated. What? The boiler, also donated. That oil's a piston in the engine. Fire extinguisher, in case the bike goes on fire. Also donated, it's off an old fire engine. I'm not sure how old, but it's very old also. The engine's about 100 years old. The gearbox here is a forward reverse gearbox from a snow machine. I got that because I figured if I get stuck in this thing, I won't be able to pull it out a hole by myself because it's too heavy. So I finished up getting a gearbox, a snow machine with a forward reverse. The frame, I had to add 18 inches into the frame to get it to fit the engine and the transmission. So everything has been donated and none of it belonged to me to start with except my crash helmet. This helmet I wore as a kid at 16 years old. To start it, you have to switch it on, click green for go, pull the carburetor up with gasoline, set the choke, close that little flapper, and spin the flywheel. And that's what starts the engine. That gives you a spark and uh, your fuel, and it will only run at one speed. This is your clutch, accelerator, the whole bit. This is what makes it go. Press down the pedal, you tighten the belt, and you're off to the races at probably 10, 15 miles an hour. This is an oiler. You fill this up with oil, turn it on, and it drips. Just drips every so often onto the top of the onto the side of the piston, and it also oils the wrist pin in the small end of the piston. This I, I put on to, so that I could set the accelerator a little bit high because you can only run it at the one speed. So by adjusting this, I get it to run at its best speed, and then just leave it there. And it's just one speed, and that's it.